Welcome back. Prompt. How to set boundaries in relationships answer. Setting boundaries in relationships is essential for maintaining healthy dynamics and ensuring that both partners feel respected and valued. Here are some steps to help you establish and communicate boundaries effectively. 1. Reflect on your needs. Before setting boundaries, take some time to think about what you need in the relationship. Consider your emotional, physical, and mental needs. 2. Identify your limits. Determine what behaviors or actions you find unacceptable. This could include how much time you spend together, communication styles, or personal space. 3. Communicate clearly. When you're ready to discuss your boundaries, choose a calm and appropriate time to talk. Use I statements to express your feelings, e.g., I feel overwhelmed. When? 4. Be specific. Clearly articulate what your boundaries are. Instead of vague statements, provide specific examples of what is acceptable and what is not. 5. Listen actively. Encourage your partner to share their thoughts and feelings about the boundaries you're setting. Active listening can foster mutual understanding. 6. Stay firm but flexible. While it's important to be firm about your boundaries, be open to discussion and negotiation. Relationships often require compromise, but your core boundaries should remain intact. 7. Reassess as needed. Boundaries may change over time as relationships evolve. Regularly check in with yourself and your partner to see if adjustments are necessary. 8. Be prepared for pushback. Not everyone will react positively to boundaries, especially if they are used to certain behaviors. Stay calm and reiterate your needs. 9. Lead by example. Respect your partner's boundaries as well. Modeling healthy boundary setting can encourage them to do the same. 10. Seek support if necessary. If you're struggling to set or maintain boundaries, consider seeking support from a therapist or counselor who can provide guidance and strategies. Remember, setting boundaries is a sign of self-respect and can lead to healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Prompt. Tips for maintaining long-distance relationships answer. Maintaining a long-distance relationship can be challenging, but with effort and commitment from both partners, it can also be rewarding. Here are some tips to help you nurture your long-distance relationship. 1. Communication is key. Establish open and honest communication. Use various platforms, texts, calls, video chats to stay connected. Regularly check in on each other's feelings and experiences. 2. Set goals and expectations. Discuss your relationship goals and what you both expect from each other. Talk about how often you'll communicate and plan visits. Three. Schedule regular visits. Whenever possible, plan visits to see each other. Having a trip to look forward to can strengthen your bond and create lasting memories. 4. Be creative with communication. Mix up your communication methods. Send surprise letters, share playlists, watch movies together online, or play games to keep things fun and engaging. 5. Share experiences. Share your daily lives as much as possible. Send photos, share updates about your day, and involve each other in your lives to foster a sense of closeness. 6. Trust and honesty. Build a foundation of trust. Be honest about your feelings and concerns. Address any issues promptly to prevent misunderstandings. 7. Stay positive. Focus on the positives of your relationship. Celebrate milestones and achievements, and remind each other why you're committed to making it work. 8. Create rituals. Establish regular rituals like a weekly video call or a monthly virtual date night. These can help you feel more connected and maintain a sense of routine. 9. Be supportive. Be there for each other during tough times. Offer emotional support and encouragement and be attentive to each other's needs. 10. Plan for the future. Talk about your future together. Discuss your long-term plans and make sure you're both on the same page regarding your relationship's direction. 11. Stay positive about the distance. Recognize that distance can help you grow individually and as a couple. Use this time to focus on personal development and pursuing your interests. 12. Practice patience. Understand that long-distance relationships can be tough, and it may take time to adjust. B. Patient with each other and yourselves as you navigate the challenges. By incorporating these tips, you can strengthen your long-distance relationship and create a lasting connection despite the miles between you. Prompt, 
Effective conflict resolution techniques answer. Prompt. How to communicate assertively answer. To communicate assertively, first, identify your needs and feelings. Next, express yourself clearly and directly, using I statements to share how you feel and what you want. Finally, consider the other person's perspective and be open to listening and compromising to reach a solution. By doing so, you can strengthen your communication skills and express your thoughts and needs assertively. Prompt. Steps to rebuild trust in relationships answer. Rebuilding trust in relationships can be a challenging but rewarding process. Here are some steps to help you navigate this journey. 1. Acknowledge the breach. Recognize and accept that trust has been broken. Both parties should acknowledge what happened and the impact it had on the relationship. 2. Open communication. Create a safe space for open and honest dialogue. Encourage each other to express feelings, concerns, and perspectives without judgment. 3. Take responsibility. If you were at fault, take full responsibility for your actions. Apologize sincerely and acknowledge the hurt caused. If you are the one who was hurt, express your feelings without placing blame. 4. Establish boundaries. Discuss what is needed to rebuild trust, including setting clear boundaries. This may involve agreeing on behaviors that are acceptable and those that are not. 5. Be patient. Understand that rebuilding trust takes time. Be patient with yourself and the other person as you work through the process. Six, consistent actions. Trust is rebuilt through consistent and trustworthy behavior over time. Follow through on promises and commitments to demonstrate reliability. Seven, seek forgiveness. If appropriate, seek forgiveness from the other person. This can be a powerful step in the healing process but it should come naturally and not be forced. Eight, focus on the positive. Highlight the strengths of the relationship and the positive aspects that brought you together in the first place. This can help shift focus away from the breach. Nine, rebuild intimacy. Work on rebuilding emotional and physical intimacy as appropriate. This can help strengthen the bond and create a deeper connection. 10, consider professional help. If trust issues persist or the relationship is significantly strained, consider seeking the help of a therapist or counselor. They can provide guidance and tools to facilitate healing. 11. Evaluate progress. Regularly check in with each other about how the rebuilding process is going. This can help both parties feel heard and understood. 12. Be prepared for setbacks. Understand that setbacks may occur. Be willing to address them openly and adjust your approach as needed. Rebuilding trust is a gradual process that requires effort and commitment from both parties. With patience and dedication, it is possible to restore trust and strengthen the relationship. Prompt, how to practice empathy in conversations answer. Practicing empathy in conversations can significantly enhance your communication skills and strengthen your relationships. Here are some strategies to help you cultivate empathy. One, active listening. Focus entirely on the speaker. Avoid interrupting and show that you are engaged through your body, language, and facial expressions. Nod. Maintain eye contact and use verbal affirmations like I see or go on. 2. Reflective responses. After the speaker has finished, paraphrase what they said to show that you understand their perspective. For example, it sounds like you felt really overwhelmed when that happened. 3. Ask open ended questions. Encourage the speaker to share more about their feelings and experiences. Questions like, how did that make you feel? Or, what was going through your mind at that time? Can open up deeper conversations. 4. Validate feelings. Acknowledge the speaker's emotions, even if you don't necessarily agree with their perspective. You might say, it's understandable that you felt that way given the circumstances. 5. Put yourself in their shoes. Try to imagine how you would feel in the other person's situation. This can help you respond more compassionately and thoughtfully. 6. Avoid judgment. Practice non-judgmental listening. Try to suspend your own opinions and biases while the other person is speaking. This creates a safe space for them to express themselves. 7. Share relatable experiences. If appropriate, share your own experiences that relate to what the speaker is saying. This can help create a sense of connection but be careful not to shift the focus away from their feelings. 
8. Be mindful of your reactions. Pay attention to your own emotional responses during the conversation. If you feel defensive or dismissive, take a moment to breathe and refocus on the other person's feelings. 9. Follow up. After the conversation, check in with the person to see how they are doing. This shows that you care and are invested in their well-being. 10. Practice self-compassion. Being empathetic towards others starts with being kind to yourself. Acknowledge your own feelings and experiences, which can help you be more open to understanding others. By integrating these practices into your conversations, you can enhance your ability to connect with others and foster more meaningful interactions. Prompt. Tips for active listening in relationships answer. Prompt. How to express appreciation effectively answer. Prompt. Steps to improve nonverbal communication answer. As a psychologist, I'd encourage you to, one, observe others' body language and facial expressions for better understanding of their emotions and intentions. Two, practice active listening, focusing on nonverbal cues as much as verbal communication. Three, work on asserting yourself through consciously improving your own body language, posture, and facial expressions. Prompt. Tips for handling difficult conversations answer. Absolutely. Here are some friendly tips for handling difficult conversations. 1. Prepare yourself. Take some time to think about what you want to say and how you want to say it. This can help you feel more confident. 2. Choose the right time and place. Find a comfortable and private setting where both parties can speak openly without distractions. 3. Stay calm and composed. Keep your emotions in check. Take deep breaths if you start to feel overwhelmed. 4. Listen actively. Show that you're listening by nodding and summarizing what the other person says. This helps them feel heard and valued. 5. Use I statements. Frame your thoughts using I statements. To express how you feel without sounding accusatory. For example, I feel concerned when 6. Be empathetic. Try to understand the other person's perspective. A little empathy can go a long way in easing tension. 7. Stay focused on the issue. Keep the conversation on track and avoid bringing up unrelated grievances. 8. Be open to solutions. Encourage collaboration in finding a resolution. This shows that you're willing to work together. 9. Know when to take a break. If things get too heated, it's okay to pause the conversation and revisit it later. 10. Follow up. After the conversation, check in with the person to ensure that any agreed-upon actions are being followed through. Remember, difficult conversations can lead to growth and understanding, so approach them with a positive mindset. Prompt, how to navigate family disagreements answer. Prompt, tips for building a support system answer. Building a support system is essential for personal growth and well-being. Here are some tips to help you create a strong support network. 1. Identify your needs. Determine what kind of support you need, emotional, practical, informational, or social. This will help you identify the right people to include in your support system. 2. Reach out to friends and family. Start with those closest to you. Share your feelings and needs and let them know how they can support you. 3. Join groups or clubs. Look for local or online groups that align with your interests or challenges. This could include hobby clubs, support groups, or professional organizations. 4. Network professionally. Attend networking events, workshops, or conferences related to your career. Building professional relationships can provide both support and opportunities. 5. Volunteer. Helping others can create meaningful connections. Look for volunteer opportunities in your community where you can meet like-minded individuals. 6. Be open and vulnerable. Share your experiences and challenges with others. Being open can foster deeper connections and encourage others to share their own experiences. 7. Seek mentorship. Find a mentor who can provide guidance and support. A mentor can offer valuable insights and help you navigate challenges. 8. Utilize social media. Use platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, or specialized forums to connect with others who share your interests or experiences. Nine. Maintain regular communication. Stay in touch with your support network. Regular check-ins, whether through calls, texts, or in-person meetings help strengthen relationships. 10. 
Be supportive in return. A support system is reciprocal. Offer your help and support to others in your network, creating a balanced relationship. 11. Set boundaries. While it's important to be open, also set boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. Know when to take a step back if a relationship becomes draining. 12. Be patient. Building a support system takes time. Be patient with yourself and others as you develop these relationships. 13. Consider professional help. If you're struggling to build a support system or facing significant challenges, consider seeking help from a therapist or counselor. By actively engaging with others and being open to building connections, you can create a robust support system that enhances your life and helps you navigate challenges. Prompt. How to manage social anxiety answer. Prompt. Techniques for boosting self-confidence answer. Boosting self-confidence can be a rewarding journey. Here are some effective techniques you might find helpful. 1. Positive self-talk. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Remind yourself of your strengths and past achievements. 2. Set achievable goals. Break larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks. Celebrate your progress along the way to build confidence. 3. Practice self-care. Take care of your physical and mental well-being. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep can significantly impact your self-esteem. 4. Face your fears. Gradually confront situations that make you anxious. Each small step can help you build resilience and confidence. 5. Learn new skills. Engaging in new activities or hobbies can enhance your sense of accomplishment and self-worth. 6. Surround yourself with positivity. Spend time with supportive and encouraging people who uplift you and believe in your potential. 7. Visualize success. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing yourself succeeding in your goals. This can help create a positive mindset. 8. Reflect on your achievements. Keep a journal of your accomplishments, no matter how small. Reviewing this can remind you of your capabilities. 9. Limit comparisons. Focus on your own journey rather than comparing yourself to others. Everyone has their unique path. 10. Seek professional help. If self-doubt persists, consider talking to a therapist or counselor who can provide guidance and support. Remember, building self-confidence is a gradual process. So be patient with yourself. Prompt. Tips for effective public speaking answer. Sure. Here are some tips for effective public speaking. 1. Know your audience. Understand who you are speaking to and tailor your message to their interests and level of understanding. 2. Practice, practice, practice. Rehearse your speech multiple times. This will help you become more familiar with your material and reduce anxiety. 3. Organize your content. Structure your speech with a clear introduction, body, and conclusion. This helps your audience follow along easily. 4. Engage with your audience. Make eye contact, ask questions, and encourage participation to keep your audience interested. 5. Use visual aids. Incorporate slides, images, or props to enhance your message and make it more memorable. 6. Control your pace and tone. Vary your speaking speed and tone to emphasize key points and maintain interest. 7. Be authentic. Share personal stories or experiences to connect with your audience on a deeper level. 8. Manage anxiety. Take deep breaths. Visualize success, and remember that it's normal to feel nervous. 9. Seek feedback. After your speech, ask for constructive criticism to improve your future presentations. 10. Enjoy the experience. Have fun and be passionate about your topic. Your enthusiasm will resonate with your audience. Good luck with your public speaking. Prompt. How to start meaningful conversations answer. Starting meaningful conversations can be a rewarding experience. Here are some tips to help you get started. 1. Ask open-ended questions. Instead of yes or no questions, try asking questions that require more thought and elaboration. For example, what has been the highlight of your week? 2. Listen actively. Show genuine interest in what the other person is saying. Nod. Maintain eye contact and respond appropriately to encourage them to share more. Three. Share personal stories. Relating your own experiences can create a connection and encourage the other person to open up as well. 4. Be present. 
Put away distractions like your phone and focus on the conversation. This shows that you value the interaction. Five, find common interests. Discover shared hobbies or experiences to build rapport and keep the conversation flowing. Six, be vulnerable. Sharing your thoughts and feelings can encourage others to do the same, leading to deeper discussions. Seven, stay curious. Approach the conversation with a mindset of curiosity. Ask follow-up questions that delve deeper into the topic. Remember, meaningful conversations take time to develop, so be patient and enjoy the process. Prompt, steps to make new friends as an adult answer. Making new friends as an adult can be a rewarding experience. Here are some steps you can take. One, be open and approachable. Smile and make eye contact. A friendly demeanor can invite others to engage with you. Two, join groups or clubs. Look for local clubs, classes, or groups that align with your interests, such as book clubs, sports teams, or hobby classes. Three, attend social events. Participate in community events, networking gatherings, or social meetups. Websites like meetup.com can help you find events in your area. Four, volunteer. Getting involved in volunteer work can connect you with like-minded individuals who share your values. Five, leverage existing connections. Ask friends or acquaintances to introduce you to new people. Expanding your social circle through mutual connections can be easier. Six, be proactive. Don't hesitate to initiate conversations. Ask questions and show genuine interest in others. Seven, follow up. If you meet someone you click with, suggest meeting up again. A simple message or invitation can go a long way. Eight, be patient. Building friendships takes time. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen right away. Remember, the key is to be yourself and enjoy the process of meeting new people. Prompt, tips for maintaining healthy friendships answer. What are some challenges you've faced in your friendships recently? How do you think those challenges have affected your relationships and emotional well-being? Do you think self-care is important in maintaining healthy friendships? How so? Prompt. How to set goals and relationships answer. Prompt. Tips for expressing love and affection answer. Expressing love and affection can strengthen your relationships and create deeper connections. Here are some tips to help you convey your feelings effectively. 1. Verbal affirmations. Regularly tell your loved ones how much they mean to you. Simple phrases like, I love you. I appreciate you, or you make me happy can go a long way. Two, quality time. Spend meaningful time together without. Distractions. Engage in activities you both enjoy, whether it's cooking, hiking, or watching a movie. Three, physical touch. Hugs, kisses, holding hands, or gentle touches can communicate affection. Be mindful of your partner's comfort level with physical touch. Four, acts of service. Show your love through actions. Doing something thoughtful, like cooking a meal, running an errand, or helping with chores can demonstrate your care. Five, gifts. Thoughtful gifts, whether big or small, can express your affection. Consider their interests and preferences when choosing a gift. Six, listen actively. Show genuine interest in what your loved one is saying. Listening attentively and responding thoughtfully can make them feel valued and understood. 7. Write notes or letters. A handwritten note or letter expressing your feelings can be a cherished keepsake. It's a personal touch that shows you care. 8. Compliments. Offer sincere compliments about their appearance, achievements, or qualities you admire. This boosts their self-esteem and reinforces your affection. 9. Be supportive. Be there for your loved ones during tough times. Offering emotional support and encouragement shows that you care deeply. 10. Create traditions. Establishing rituals or traditions, like date nights or weekend outings, can strengthen your bond and create lasting memories. 11. Be present. Put away distractions like phones and focus on your loved one when you're together. Being fully present shows that you value their company. 12. Share experiences. Try new activities together, whether it's traveling, taking a class, or exploring a new hobby. Shared experiences can deepen your connection. 13. Express gratitude. Regularly express gratitude for the little things they do. 
Acknowledging their efforts makes them feel appreciated and loved. 14. Be vulnerable. Share your feelings, fears, and dreams. Vulnerability can foster intimacy and trust in your relationship. 15. Use humor. Laughter can bring you closer. Share jokes, funny stories, or playful banter to lighten the mood and create joy together. Remember, everyone has different ways of expressing and receiving love, so it's important to communicate openly about what feels best for both you and your loved ones. Prompt. How to have open and honest talks answer. Having open and honest talks is essential for building trust and understanding in any relationship, whether personal or professional. Here are some steps to facilitate these conversations. 1. Choose the right time and place. Find a comfortable and private setting where both parties feel safe to express themselves. Ensure that you have enough time to engage in a meaningful conversation without interruptions. Two. Be clear about your intentions. Start the conversation by expressing your desire for open communication. Let the other person know that you value their thoughts and feelings. 3. Practice active listening. Show genuine interest in what the other person has to say. Listen without interrupting and acknowledge their feelings and perspectives. Use nonverbal cues like nodding or maintaining eye contact to show you're engaged. 4. Be honest and vulnerable. Share your thoughts and feelings openly. It's okay to express your vulnerabilities, as this can encourage the other person to do the same. 5. Use I statements. Frame your thoughts using I statements to express how you feel without sounding accusatory. For example, say, I feel concerned when, instead of you always. 6. Stay calm and respectful. Keep your tone calm and avoid raising your voice even if the conversation gets intense. Respect the other person's views, even if you disagree. 7. Ask open-ended questions. Encourage dialogue by asking questions that require more than a yes or no answer. This invites deeper discussion and understanding. 8. Be open to feedback. Be willing to hear constructive criticism and different viewpoints. This shows that you value the other person's perspective. 9. Avoid blame and judgment. Focus on the issue at hand rather than personal attacks. This helps keep the conversation constructive. 10. Follow up. After the conversation, check in with the person to see how they feel and if there are any lingering thoughts. This shows that you care about their feelings and the outcome of the discussion. 11. Establish boundaries. If necessary, set boundaries for future conversations to ensure both parties feel comfortable and respected. 12. Practice empathy. Try to understand the other person's feelings and perspective. Empathy can help bridge gaps and foster a more open dialogue. By following these steps, you can create an environment conducive to open and honest discussions, leading to stronger relationships and better understanding. Prompt. Tips for building trust with new people. Answer. Prompt. How to practice patience in relationships. Answer. Practicing patience in relationships can significantly enhance communication, understanding, and overall connection. Here are some strategies to help you cultivate patience. 1. Mindfulness and self-awareness. Recognize your feelings and triggers. Practicing mindfulness can help you stay present and manage your reactions. 2. Active listening. Focus on truly hearing what your partner is saying without interrupting. This can help you understand their perspective and reduce frustration. 3. Set realistic expectations. Understand that no one is perfect and everyone has flaws. Adjust your expectations to be more realistic and compassionate. 4. Take breaks when needed. If you feel overwhelmed or frustrated, take a short break to cool down. Step away for a moment to gather your thoughts before responding. 5. Communicate openly. Share your feelings and thoughts with your partner. Honest communication can help both of you understand each other better and reduce misunderstandings. 6. Practice empathy. Try to see things from your partner's perspective. Understanding their feelings and motivations can help you respond with patience. 7. Focus on the positive. Remind yourself of the positive aspects of your relationship. Focusing on what you appreciate about your partner can help you be more patient during challenging times. 8. Set boundaries. Establish healthy boundaries that allow both partners to feel secure and respected. 
This can reduce frustration and promote understanding. 9. Practice gratitude. Regularly reflect on the things you are grateful for in your relationship. This practice can shift your mindset from frustration to appreciation. 10. Seek support. If you're struggling with patience, consider talking to a trusted friend or a therapist who can provide guidance and support. 11. Engage in stress relief activities. Activities such as exercise, meditation, or hobbies can help reduce stress and improve your overall emotional well-being, making it easier to be patient. 12. Commit to growth. Recognize that patience is a skill that takes time to develop. Be patient with yourself as you work on this aspect of your relationship. By incorporating these strategies into your daily interactions, you can foster a more patient and understanding relationship with your partner. Prompt. Steps to resolve misunderstandings answer. Prompt. How to give and receive compliments answer. Prompt. Tips for maintaining boundaries online answer. I understand that setting boundaries online can be challenging. Can you tell me more about your specific struggles in maintaining those boundaries? For example, do you often have difficulty disengaging from digital interactions or have a hard time responding to certain types of online messages? Prompt. How to deal with jealousy effectively answer. Dealing with jealousy can be challenging, but there are several effective strategies you can use. 1. Acknowledge your feelings. Recognize that feeling jealous is a normal human emotion. Accepting your feelings can help you understand them better. 2. Identify triggers. Reflect on what specifically triggers your jealousy. Is it a particular person, situation, or insecurity? Understanding the root cause can help you address it more effectively. 3. Communicate openly. If your jealousy involves someone else, consider having an open and honest conversation with them. Sharing your feelings can help clear misunderstandings and strengthen your relationship. 4. Focus on self-improvement. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on your own goals and achievements. Engage in activities that boost your self-esteem and confidence. 5. Practice gratitude. Shift your focus from what others have to what you appreciate in your own life. Keeping a gratitude journal can help you cultivate a more positive mindset. 6. Limit social media exposure. Social media can often exacerbate feelings of jealousy. Consider taking breaks or curating your feed to reduce comparisons. 7. Seek support. Talk to friends or a therapist about your feelings. Sometimes, sharing your thoughts with someone else can provide clarity and relief. 8. Develop empathy. Try to see things from the other person's perspective. Understanding their situation can help reduce feelings of jealousy. Remember, it's okay to feel jealous sometimes, but how you respond to those feelings is what truly matters. Prompt. Tips for showing appreciation regularly answer. Showing appreciation regularly is a wonderful way to strengthen relationships and create a positive environment. Here are some tips to help you express gratitude consistently. 1. Say thank you. A simple thank you can go a long way. Make it a habit to express your gratitude verbally whenever someone helps you or does something nice. 2. Write notes. Consider writing thank you notes or messages. A handwritten note can feel more personal and meaningful. 3. Give compliments. Acknowledge the efforts and qualities of others. Compliments can boost morale and show that you notice their hard work. 4. Celebrate achievements. Whether big or small, celebrate milestones and accomplishments. This could be through a small gathering, a shout-out in a meeting, or even a social media post. 5. Be specific. When expressing appreciation, be specific about what you are thankful for. This shows that you genuinely recognize their efforts. 6. Offer help in return. Show your appreciation by offering your assistance when they need it. It creates a reciprocal relationship. 7. Create a gratitude jar. Encourage everyone to write down things they are grateful for and put them in a jar. You can read them together at the end of the month or year. 8. Practice active listening. Show appreciation by being present and engaged when others are speaking. It shows that you value their thoughts and feelings. 9. Use technology. Send a quick text or email to express your gratitude. It's a fast and effective way to show you care. 10. Make it a routine. Incorporate appreciation into your daily or weekly routine. For example, 
You could set aside time each week to reflect on what you're grateful for and share with others. Remember, the key is to be genuine and consistent in your expressions of appreciation. Prompt. How to forgive and let go answer. Forgiving and letting go can be a challenging but rewarding process. Here are some steps that might help. 1. Acknowledge your feelings. Recognize the emotions you're experiencing. It's okay to feel hurt, angry, or betrayed. 2. Reflect on the situation. Take some time to think about what happened and why it affected you. Understanding the context can help you gain perspective. 3. Decide to forgive. Forgiveness is a choice. Make a conscious decision to let go of the resentment and anger. 4. Express your feelings. Whether through journaling, talking to a friend, or even writing a letter that you don't have to send, expressing your feelings can be cathartic. 5. Empathize. Try to see the situation from the other person's perspective. This doesn't excuse their behavior, but it can help you understand their actions. 6. Focus on the present. Letting go means not dwelling on the past. Focus on what you can control now and how you want to move forward. 7. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself during this process. Healing takes time, and it's okay to take it one step at a time. 8. Seek support. Sometimes talking to a therapist or counselor can provide valuable insights and help you work through your feelings. Remember, forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself, freeing you from the burden of negative emotions. It's a journey, so be patient with yourself. Prompt, tips for supporting friends in tough times answer. 1. Listen actively and provide a non-judgmental space. 2. Offer empathy Acknowledge their feelings and validate their experiences. 3. Be reliable and dependable. Show up and follow through on your promises. 4. Provide support in practical ways that make life easier during their tough times. 5. Encourage them to seek professional help if necessary. 6. Seek understanding from others and avoid gossiping or spreading rumors. 7. Maintain boundaries but also be available to discuss their concerns as needed. 8. Celebrate small wins and remind them of their strengths. Encourage self-care routines.